hello guys you're welcome to our channel today this is another amazing day and we have some information and news for you and also tip and advice that one can use to help build a happy and loving family home family life is awesome but you see a lot of people are struggling with it today because there are a lot of things that they do not understand family life is dynamic but we have to understand how to function in, in, the, in, in our family to be able to achieve success and peace. So I want to share some thoughts with you today regarding this particular story. This story is about a girl who wants to marry uh, the fiance or the boyfriend by January 2021, this particular month. And that was the ultimation. Now, this, the, the guy is concerned and he needs advice. He needs counseling. He wants advice. He doesn't know what to do. Now, this lady particularly wants to get married to this guy by January, this January, at the end, before the end of the January uh, 2021 that we are in right now. And according to the, the guy, he's, he's actually doing his best to ensure that they are happy and get married due to, you know, probably they have been together for some time. And now it's time to get married and she does he doesn't want to disappoint her and she is feeling that this guy is not serious so um, I want to read a bit of our of his letter to you his story to you and then we'll talk about it okay um, I want you to listen to this very briefly I'm going to read his story it's a currently I'm living with my brother be, now um, let me read from the from the from the <laughs> from the, what he wrote uh, from the beginning, okay? He says, my girlfriend and I have been dragging this marriage matter for seven months. My girlfriend and I have been dragging this marriage matter for seven months. And she says, I'm not serious. I do not want to marry her. I have been trying my best. I work for a delivery company and my salary is 84 pounds that means uh equivalent to naira which is forty five thousand naira my girlfriend wants us to marry by january 2021 i am currently living with my brother because my office is close to his place if i move out and marry how do i start a family with forty five thousand naira and get my own place my girlfriend does not have a job she wants to start makeup business. Should I marry her or break up? Because she said she cannot enter 2021 single. <laughs> and I am under so much pressure. I am losing weight currently. I don't even know how I, I will I, how I pay. I will pay her bride price if I agree. <laughs> then he says, please advise. <laughs> Awesome. Okay, guys, you see, uh, you heard the story. This lady wants to be married to this guy that is earning 45,000 naira, equivalent to 80, 80, 84 pounds per month. Um, sometimes ladies are desperate. I don't know why women are desperate. This, this lady is so desperate as it sounds like. He knows the condition of this young man. He knows the financial condition of this young man, yet he's still insisting that this lady, uh, I mean, she's still insisting that this young man should marry her uh, by the uh, giving automation by this end of this year. So my question is, what if you refuse to marry her? What if you refuse to you know, continue this relationship based on the request? Will she, what will she do? Well, I've thought about that as well. And secondly, depending on the, the promise and how long you guys have been dating. So if you guys have been dating for more than five, six years and up to now you haven't married her, I think that would be a problem. Uh, she might be thinking you're wasting her time. And again, in addition to that, it might be also that uh, she's just um, she just wants to get married. She's a, bit, a little bit pressured by her parents to get married. Now, irrespective of what condition the situation is, um, rushing into marriage is dangerous, is detrimental. That's my advice. You don't want to rush into marriage. It will destroy your life. 
first of all if you don't even have the capacity to to handle relationship and marriage if you don't have the uh, maturity to handle relationship and marriage why should you be getting married first of all it obvious that this young man is not ready he is he is concerned about his financial capacity at the moment he is not ready to get married and this lady wants to so you guys are watching this story now you're listening to this what do you have to say do you encourage this kind of relationship to be you know to be encouraged to be to be to be i mean you want these people to get married is it something you think is right for this lady to do martin precious or should this should this guy just end the relationship right now so that he can focus and do things uh, when he get ready when he wants when he feels that he's ready because look at his condition he lives currently with his brother he doesn't even have the finance to afford an apartment that will that will that, that both of them will stay he says he's only aiming for the five thousand naira which is about 83 84 pounds um equivalent by month not by day this is monthly income and he's a delivery driver and this lady does nothing she's she's doing nothing at the moment but she has a plan that she's going to become um a makeup artist or start a makeup uh makeup business uh, the the reality is that is still in the future i'm not doubting that that will not work that is still in the future but this young man is looking at what can be done today according to him he cannot even afford to pay the bride price so what is she thinking like get married without being really properly married or just you know decide that okay both of your husband and wife and start living together cohabiting it what what is she thinking about or does she have some money hidden somewhere that she can gonna she's gonna bring out and, and then use for this situation i don't think so so again looking at this our advice you young man first of all i believe you're still trying to start up your life that's what you should do focus on starting up your life you see um 45,000 naira a month is not enough uh to start catering for yourself and your wife or uh, your woman the woman you want to marry and, and then what about accommodation i understand even a mini or more of two bed or three bedroom uh which probably you might need a two bed or one bed or a, a, a big cube bus quarter uh, you, you I mean, in a year, that would be a, you could be affording about three hundred to three hundred or two hundred to three hundred thousand naira in a year. So you divide that by yourself. Will you be able to afford it? Your whole salary can't even afford that. So in reality, what about other activities that you need to do? Let's just focus on the reality that you need to get married now. If you get married now, how are you going to pay the bride price? Are you going to borrow money to pay the bride price? Is that what she wants you to do to prove that you're serious? I don't understand. So when women are really in um, in a very desperate situation, the attempt is not to think really deep. Are you expecting this guy to go and borrow money and become uh, in de um, 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 being debt just because he's, he wants to prove to you that he's serious? He's serious to get married to you because according to you, you said that she's saying that you're not serious. Uh, you don't want to marry her. So she wants it now. She's giving you automation. Um, just to hasten the whole thing up and now according to you you are a delivering driver you end for the five thousand naira which is equivalent to 85 84 84 pounds in a in a month and you are also living with someone you are not living on your on, all by yourself not that you have accommodation already that you paid for for one year or something no um you are currently living with someone and if you're going to move out you will need a minimum of two uh, 100 to 200,000 naira to be able to get a decent accommodation for both of you and that money is not there right now and if you're going to marry you're giving this january as an automation so if you're going to marry think about it guys what do you guys what do you guys think so leave your comment in the comment section below about what you think and should this guy continue or should she uh, should this guy leave this relationship and try and plan for his life? And uh, again, another thing I'm looking at, what if he decides to leave the relationship and this lady start chasing and attacking him from different corners? I heard of a story of recent, I was planning to talk about that, how a lady actually sued a man, another man, 
for not marrying her, for refusing not to, for not to marry her. Can you imagine? She was the man was sued by her girl, by his girlfriend for not marrying for not marrying her uh, after about eight years of dating and being in a relationship. Uh, I can tell that is understandable to some extent. I'd have no full details about it, but it's on the news. Then I also have had another story of a lady who went to set up. Um, he went to set up the boyfriend because the boyfriend uh, ended the relationship. He didn't want the relationship. And she went as far as destroying that young man's life by setting him up. And then he, he was eventually put in prison uh, because he was set up by this girlfriend. So there are things that desperate girls, desperate women are doing these days as a result of not getting married by a guy or something. So be very careful. If you're going to end this relationship, I would say end it in a very in a very sensible manner. Maybe you might want to involve some elderly people who will be able to talk to both of you and advise you because it's very important. Now, there's a video I did. Uh, if some of you are watching, I, I, I want you to give your own uh, opinion about this on, on the comment section so that the guy will be able to learn what to do. And another thing, I did a video on uh, uh, five things that a man needs before a woman. Uh, this, I did a video on that. I want uh, Maybe I'll put the link on the description below or on top of the video you'll be able to see that video and watch it okay watch that video you need to know what you need to be having or what you should be like or how ready you should be before you get married to any woman it's very important okay now we have another story guys along with this and this one is a shocker i must tell you is a shocker because i was shocked and it happened right here in the united kingdom as we speak now this lady here that you see on the screen uh she's a mother all right she's a mother and recently uh this this incident happened about a month ago all right but she was charged with murdering the four-year-old son this is her son she murdered her four-year-old son she drowned him in the bath. Now, let's, let me read some, some of the story behind it because it's still under investigation. This is a true story. All of this story I'm giving to you, they are happening. It's something that is just happening recently. So these are genuine true story. You can search on the internet yourself. you find it. Now, her name is Olu, Olu Wakimi Badare. All right? I'm not a, a Yoruba accent, so don't, don't, uh, don't be offended. Um, 36 years old. She's accused of killing Kingswell's bio day at her home in Plumstead, United Kingdom, yeah, in Plumstead. Um, he was pronounced dead at the scene on Sunday morning. Police has previously said that only that the pair were related and did not name either. So, in other words, their families. Now, um, according to the scenario, uh, I can't, first of all, um, I'm not sure why a woman, a mother, who, I mean, kill her own child, okay, who killed her own child, the womb, the child that you, 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 you impregnated, the child that you had in your womb for nine months, you didn't kill the child, then you gave birth to the child, four years later, you drowned the child in the bath. I can't imagine what is going on. Why? How come? How come family is so deteriorating like this? Why is uh, so many family are suffering like this? Why? Why are things like this going on in family? It's in the news, and according to this, uh, the, 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 the 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 woman has been um, reprimanded, and she's been detained in the in the in the in the, in the prison in the in the police with the police. And then, according to the, the custody hearing, is on Tuesday, uh, on Wednesday, and then, which will be um, March of 17, 2021. So, on the March of 17, 2021, the uh, 17th of March, 2021, there will be a hearing, a plea hearing on this matter. So, I'm going to be following it up as an update. Hopefully, we'll be able to match up and see the end. But she has been charged of mother. Now, who is involved with it? The, the Metropolitan Police said that on Monday that the boy's nest of King had been informed and that inquiries 
until the full circumstances of his death were continuing. So again, the full circumstances of his death have not been fully ascertained. But police so far has said that uh, she has been charged with murder because she actually killed the boy, the, the, he, her own son. My question is, I believe the son will be asking that same question. Why me, mom? Why me? Why would a mother decide to do such a thing to her own child? You are a mother and you're watching this, or you're a wife, you're looking at this, you're a father, you're watching this, or you're a husband, you're watching this. What do you think? What is your opinion about this? I want you to leave your comments in the comment section below because things like this should not be allowed. Now, I may not tell the details, but I believe she's a single mom and probably a lot of stress has been mounting on her. No matter how stressful life is, no matter how difficult life is, it's not enough reason to mother your own child. It's not enough reason. So we need to be very, very close to our creator to help us succeed in this wicked world. The world is wicked. The world is terrible. All right, guys, you heard the news. And now I have something to tell you. Surprisingly, we have a winner yesterday on our video and we got that um, Rosemary Bassi was the winner of the comment section of the video. She won the best commenter of our video yesterday. Now, uh, that was yesterday of the previous video the day before. So now, yesterday video, we're going to be looking at who won the best commenter today. So I want you to pay attention to this. Now, if you're watching this video for the first time, I want you to subscribe, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification so that you will not miss anything that will bring your way. Now, I want to show you, we want to go to the screen, to the screen right now. I'm going to be showing you... Um, on the screen how we're gonna do it we we'll just put the link on the comment pit car and then we'll find uh the winner of yesterday video now we're gonna be doing the same thing on today's video by tomorrow so if you're commenting i welcome you now remember we have a gift a giveaway every winner has something to go home with and we have something to send with you i just received maswe john's details yesterday so maswe john's your package has been sent an email to you today you better be you're gonna get your package uh thank you so much for getting in touch with us and i'm also waiting for uh rosemary bassi rosemary bassi you're watching this please send us email me your detail you'll find my email address you already have my email email me your detail i mean your address and i will send you your what you, you uh, your giveaway okay so guys um let's go to the screen and let me show you who's gonna be the winner let's find out the winner of the next all right we are here on the screen right now and um, i'm gonna just um all right guys we we have the link posted now that's the link there and then we are going to fetch for the winner we turn off uh, the reply and then we continue so we have two comments already on the video so we are going to pick congratulations please get in touch with us send us an email and then uh, the email address is on the on the description of this video below just contact us send us uh, your, yeah, your an email with your address and then we'll send you your giveaway now if some of you are still asking question what is this giveaway there's a video i did uh, recently about the new year resolution uh, just go and check the video on the second is on the video list uh, you'll be able to see it um, as uh, even on the introduction on our channel it's right there watch the video you'll get the details uh, of what the giveaway is for this period of time so i encourage you to write to us uh, and then let's get your your giveaway to you thank you guys for watching i want to say a big thank you uh to every one of you who have been supporting us on this channel and also being a part of what we are doing now we have a goal to reach a minimum of 10,000 uh, subscriber by the end of july and we know we can do it with your help we can do it we need your support we need your help so we need you to share our content and also you know like our, our videos 
let 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 us get let us get us to ten thousand subscribers by end of July, and I believe we'll be there before we'll get to ten thousand subscribers before the end of July. I'm telling you, we will do by your help. We will get there. So we need you. We need your help. Thank you so much, guys, for being part of this channel and for sharing our content. We'll see you again in another video. Bye for now.